Hi, everybody. This is David Nevins for City Biz List. And today we continue with uh, our political series on behalf of the Bridge Alliance, uh, which is called Fixing America's Broken Democracy. And today we actually have with us the president and CEO of the Bridge Alliance, Debbie Lynn Molyneux. Debbie Lynn, welcome. Yeah, great to, to be here, David, and thank you for all these interviews. It's wonderful. Oh, it's, uh, it's our pleasure and uh, our readers have given us and our viewers uh, really wonderful, wonderful feedback. So as you know, Debbie Lynn, we've been talking to several of your member organizations and they've been talking about what they do, their goals and objectives. Uh, you are the head of the parent organization, let's say. So uh, Debbie Lynn, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, and, uh, and then how you got to be the how you got to the Bridge Alliance. I was I was born into a family. And I promise this won't be too long. Uh, but I was born into a family with a very traditionally conservative mother and a very liberal father. And so I often joke uh, as I grew older, I kind of ended up in politics as therapy. And that may be funny to some people, but it's really turned out to be quite true as I've watched our great nation go through. Uh, the potential for a divorce, if you will, uh, only divorce isn't an option. And so in 2003, um, I had what can only be described as a, a mystical experience where I heard a voice in my head uh, show me this beautiful vision of what our country could be if we operated from our ideals and on our principles and the values that we actually share, and then ask uh, if I wanted to be involved. And I said, yes. And I'll shorten that story and just fast forward a little bit because I went home from that experience that was life changing for me and started and ran for public office. And so the first thing I did was I ran for Fres Fresno County Supervisor uh, in California. And I was, came in th three out of fourth candidates or third place uh, and forced a runoff from the two longtime politicos. Uh, that, it, that one of whom eventually won the seat and the other one then uh, won another seat on the city council. So it's just been like, uh, since that moment in time, I kind of like did this deep dive into politics to really understand the toxicity that exists. And this is back in, you know, 16 years ago now. And looking for what are the, the levers that we can pull or push to help us actually be citizens from our highest ideals. And that eventually over time led to the creation of the Bridge Alliance when a group of organizational leaders got together and said, what could we do better together that none of us could do on our own? And we said, well, let's form an alliance and let's start thinking about democracy as an ecosystem instead of as, uh, as a tool for uh, manipulating power. And, uh, and I'll pause there so you can ask me another question, but that's, yeah, it's, it's been a long and fruitful journey. Well, it's, I, know, I know, I know, obviously that it that it has. So let, let's, Debbie Lynn, let's just get a little bit more specific on behalf of the Bridge Alliance. Share with us um, some of the achievements uh, and advances of your organization in trying to avoid uh, this um, this divorce, of course, that we can't have, but uh, look like we're heading towards. So I think it's really important to start with, like, there's a lot of things in, in media today that focus on what we don't want. There's a lot of, of like, there, you know, the blame game is, is rampant, et cetera. And so one of the areas that we, that I want, I just want to start with is saying, we want to start with thinking about what do we want? And so at Bridge Alliance, we envision a vibrant, thriving, just democracy. And it really is that simple. It's like, that's the, the vision of what we want and where we're headed. In doing that, um, you know, we, you know, I talked a minute ago about the ecosystem and seeing ourselves as stewards of the ecosystem. Well, the thing is, is that everybody that's in America right now in the United States is part of that ecosystem. And some of it is toxic and poisonous right now. And some of it's very healthy. Well, we're here to steward and, and foster the healthy ecosystem as a whole so that we all know our place in it and we know we're connected to something bigger than ourselves. And, and to do that for the sake of the common good and for the protection of individual rights both. It's not, it's not a separate thing, it's an integrated whole. So as far as some of our uh, accomplishments, I think 
Um, the big news that out this week is that we just acquired the Fulcrum, which has been a news platform uh, that has done a, an excellent job of covering political reform, rooting out that toxic, um, uh, in the, the way that our institutions around elections have been perverted for partisan benefit rather than common good. And so the Fulcrum has done a really, a really excellent job of covering the news on all of these experiments that are happening at local and state levels and looking at the big national initiatives that also uh, are being proposed. And we wanna wrap that, that coverage, that news coverage with content of what our member organizations are doing or anyone else in the United States to tell the stories about how fixing democracy itself can lead us to fixing all the other issues that we actually care more about because democracy has been a given and assumed thing. And now we're learning that, oh yeah, we need to take care of that too. So uh, again, Debbie Lynn, let me try to get you to be just a little bit more specific, if you don't mind, in terms of what you just said. How, how do we begin, or how are you already really fixing democracy? And, and what, you know, uh, tens of thousands of folks around the country hopefully are going to be watching this. And um, what are some steps that they can take? And what are some steps that you and your colleagues have already taken? Yeah, so the, the biggest thing that, that average folks can do right now um, or business uh, interests can do right now is look at uh, your local community and, and connect in. You know, you can go to our website and you can find any one of our 90 members and, and find one who's doing something near you if you want and, and get involved with them and really help your local uh, area be connected to democracy in a healthy way. Now, specifically what that might look like is you may have uh, an op-ed that you wanna publish in the fulcrum, great, send it to us. Talking about how business or how your local community is, is working in a, in a healthy way. You may have, um, you may have uh, employees that wanna get involved. Figure out what your, your particular role is. With Bridge Alliance, the other thing we're doing right now, um, next month we're gonna be launching a new portal where average citizens can go online and within seconds get connected into something they care passionately about that is in this realm of healthy democracy. And so, that, so that's kind of a forthcoming piece. Uh, in, in the meantime, other ways people can get involved is we have uh, programs like the Mastermind Cohort that uh, connects so, uh, social entrepreneurs with Bridge Alliance member organizations in a way to help build a very diverse, organically uh, authentic relationship. And this is uh, you know, another part of our work that I, I think you're alluding to is, is we're operating um, on the foundation that we have to represent all Americans in the Bridge Alliance, right? And so without this operating system being as diverse as America is, we're not gonna succeed. And this mastermind cohort program takes um, people starting with a messy idea, project, or initiative, and then puts them in a creative space where they can develop that idea, project, or initiative. Gives them a little bit of tools, a little bit of presentation, and really then gives them feedback from the whole idea of the mastermind is that the group gives them feedback to improve their idea. So everybody gets to develop their own idea they get to build a relationship with people unlike themselves. And then they uh, get to join a network of a mastermind cohort alum from across the nation. So applying for the mastermind cohort is another way that people can get involved. Debbie Lynn, I know that your organization and, and its members are involved in, I, I guess I'd say uh, myriad activities from uh, electioneering reform, dealing with the challenges of gerrymandering and and term and promoting term limits in some cases and and uh, and so forth. And so, are these the kinds of things that the fulcrum, because it's uh, that the fulcrum will be covering going forward? Because it seems to me another way people can get involved is is to just become a more educated citizen. Yeah, getting educated about electoral reform. So let me back up half a second and talk a little bit about the, the premise, or if you will, the different parts of the democracy ecosystem that Bridge Alliance covers. Um, 
there's more than these three parts, but the, these are the three parts that we focus on. So one is first is civic engagement. How, do, how are we as citizens uh, enacting our role to be good citizens and support democracy rather than being consumers of politics? And so that includes civic education, registering to vote, having good dialogues, deliberative processes to help provide input on policy. All those things are part of civic engagement. The second area we focus on are what you were just mentioning, and that's the political reform area. How do we elect people who gets on the ballot, um, you know, is an open primary or ranked choice voting or approval voting the way to go? And there's experiments happening right now across the country with all of those efforts. And, uh, you know, so get involved in what's happening with you locally and try the experiment. If it doesn't work, you can always go back to, some, to something else or try something new that's been working in another part of the nation. And then the third area um, that, we, that we cover in, in our aspect of the democracy ecosystem is governance and policymaking. And this is where uh, we have member organizations who support elected officials in doing a, their job better. Uh, we have members who do like shuttle diplomacy, if you will, between senators uh, who support state legislators or local mayors. And they're all um, both providing training and education for staff for the elected officials themselves, because a lot of folks get into elected office without experience. And in our premise, you know, with the Bridge Alliance is that we all need to be aware of what these other aspects of healthy democracy are doing. And so getting involved really is about figuring out what your passion is, figuring out like, you know, I'm pre more predisposed to the civic engagement wing, but there's a lot of guys who want to fix the system who are getting involved in the reform effort. Mm -hmm. And then there's the, you know, some of the, the folks who like to be a little bit closer to the center of power who like to work with the, pol with the elected officials and the governance structures. So, you know, figuring out like what's the right mix for you and getting involved is the most important thing. I would certainly agree with that. We need, we need more people uh, involved and we need more people aware of different opportunities. I know, Debbie Lynn, you mentioned um, uh, just a moment ago, ranked choice voting. And I talked to some friends and colleagues about that and they they don't even know what that is. So that's that's an area, um, I know it, it exists in certain communities around the country. It's not yet very, very widespread, but just like the hundred uh, members of your organization, they're each per, uh, promoting things that simply people need to be made more aware of, which leads me back, Debbie Lynn, to take another minute or two and, um, and put in a plug for the fulcrum, because correct me if I'm wrong, that's going to be one of the vehicles by which the Bridge Alliance promotes uh, democracy and democratic fixes and new ideas and concepts and so forth. So the fulcrum, you know, as I mentioned before, is going to center news coverage around some of the political reforms, but we're going to connect stories of what people are doing in their local communities to uh, the, the democracy reform issues. So for instance, um, we, uh, one of our members, the Mormon Women for Ethical Government today, just uh, it, it, they're gonna have an op published tomorrow about um, voting rights. And so this is you know, a, a suburban uh, Iowa member of, of Mormon Women for F Ethical Government or MWEG for short, doing her own research and then sharing that. Average citizen, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we need more people like that. Uh, people, if you want to like read some of this stuff, go to the fulcrum.us, the fulcrum.us and they, and you sign up for the email list and we'll send you an email every day. That's just got, you know, right now, three to five stories, videos, and podcasts of, about what's happening around the nation. And it's an easy and fun way to get informed. And we're going to be adding more content soon. That's great. And then Debbie Lynn, before I let you go, um, Tell us one more time how people can reach out to the to the Bridge Alliance to learn more, to participate, and maybe even to have uh, their own organizations uh, affiliate with you. Great. Yeah. So here's the ways to get involved. First of all, if you go to bridgealliance.us, we have a tab uh, on the navigation bar that says get involved. And this is where you can apply for membership. Uh, if you're an individual and you don't have an organization, you can also uh, become a friend of Bridge. This is our individual membership program. And as a friend of Bridge, it's a monthly giving program. So uh, just know that that, you know, $10 a month or up, uh, you get added to a lot of the benefits that our members, our organizational members also get. 
Uh, there are, uh, there's a shared event calendar that you can check out and you can also apply to be part of our mastermind cohort. So those are some fast and easy ways to get involved at bridgealliance.us. That's great, Debbie. And did I forget uh, to ask you anything? Is there anything you'd like to share with our viewers uh, regarding either the Fulcrum or the Bridge Alliance uh, before we close? I think we did a pretty good job. I mean, we didn't cover the fourfold diversity model, but folks can go back and watch Willis's interview if they want to hear about that. Yeah, and we can do we can do this another time as well. So uh, so no no worries there. Uh, you certainly have your hands into a lot of things. So uh, good luck, and we know where we all need to work hard to uh, to fix America's broken democracy and keep the country running uh, the way it should. Um, our guest today has been Debbie Lynn Molinow. Uh, Debbie Lynn is the head of the Bridge Alliance, and the Bridge Alliance is the parent organization for which we've been doing this, uh, this series of, of several interviews. Debbie Lynn, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And uh, this has been David Nevins uh, on behalf of City Biz List. Thank you for watching.